Hi crafters, Amy here, and today I have a quick batching holiday card idea to share with you. So let's jump right in. Now this is the Christmas Tree Deer Stencil. It's a six by six single layer, and it's from A Colorful Life Designs. I have some Hero Hues sand cardstock turned into an A2 size card base, and I have Sage from Catherine Pooler and Walnut Stain Distress Ink. And these cards could not have come together quicker. So here are a couple photos. Um, I did make two cards for this, but I love the design so much that I think I'm going to batch a whole bunch more for my Christmas cards this year just because it came together so quickly and it was so fun. So I was kind of thinking in terms of colors here and I thought, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I don't even need to mask off these little deer because I'm going to color them in brown. So I'm going over kind of heavier handed in spots and lighter handed in others with the sage color from Catherine Pooler. And I'm just going over the whole card front. Um, and like I said, this is Hero Hues. So it's Hero Arts brand. And this sand color is just gorgeous. Now, I don't know the weight. If I had to guess, I would say it was around 100 pound cardstock. Um, and I used my very last page of it, sadly, for these two cards, so I might have to order some more. But I thought this looked really cool on a craft sort of color paper. Um, and like I said, I just love this design. So to get in the little bits here for the deer, I have my little Bitty Bunny blending brushes. These are also from the Rabbit Hole Designs. That's where I get both my bigger and my smaller blending brushes here. And I'm just using that more detailed tip just to kind of go right in with the brown over the deer. And like I said, it doesn't matter if there was any green that got into the space because the brown is going to cover it right up. So immediately my mind went to how quickly I could mass produce this um, and create a bunch of cards because I usually end up needing around 100 um, and I don't do all the same design but I do like to do chunks um, of different designs so I think I'm definitely going to revisit this um, and play with this fun design for more for more cards this year so this is part of the November release at a colorful life designs um, if you aren't familiar it's a small woman owned business in Texas she manufactures all the stencils herself uh, and I do have a coupon code Amy fan 10 so if you do shop you'll save 10% on your complete order. And then she also creates um, in her shop something called a Master Creator Bundle. And that's in the event you need to have the entire release, which I wouldn't fault you because it's a good one. Um, you can get it at 20% off. So I will link that as well as all the other descriptions and links to the products in the video description box below. Um, but you can't use my coupon on top of that if you wanna get the Master Creator Bundle discount because it's already so big at 20%. Now this little sentiment strip stamp set is from Catherine Pooler. And what I'm showing you here, these strips actually have the sentiments white heat embossed on them. And then you can just add the ink color of your choice to custom match your cards. And then you have a sentiment strip ready to go. So I grabbed a couple that I had already previously made and I'm getting some paper towel ready because this is a bit of a messy process, but I'm actually just dipping these sentiments right into the ink pad. Um, if you're familiar, Catherine Pooler inks are really juicy. Um, and with the red especially, you wanna try and wipe it off as quick as possible because the embossing will resist, but it does still wanna stain it just a little bit with the really deep red colors. So just bear that in mind, um, but it was still totally fine. Um, it wiped off enough to really help the letters show white and be um, nice and legible. So in this one, I'm going to use the blending brush just to kind of show you the difference. Um, the one that's really dark does dry back a little bit, but obviously it's a lot more pigmented in color than just going through and ink blending. So if you do this and you are going to ink blend, then make sure you have a sturdy cardstock. I would say like at least a 110 pound cardstock. Otherwise, this might be a little hard to ink blend on without kind of, you know, bending it and messing it up. But same thing, I'm just going to wipe off the excess with my uh, paper towel here and let the sentiment just pop right off that nice colored strip. So this is a fun way also to kind of batch your process and have a lot of sentiment strips ready to go. I do have a video of um, 
that idea and when I actually emboss those. If you want to check that out, I'll link that in the video description box as well. Now, if you want to kick up this design a little bit, if it's a little bit too simple for you, then you can get a white gel pen. Um, I have a Sakura, I think that's probably a size 8 or a 10. And I'm just kind of going through randomly through some of the trees and just drawing some snow on them. It's basically just little scribbles, um, no rhyme or reason. And then here I have these Arteza... Um, acrylic markers so they're like actually acrylic paint but they're in a fine tip uh, I got these to decorate some rocks with my daughter and I was thinking huh this would actually work quite well on my cards so I'm just drawing one red nose on w only one of these I was considering doing other ones but then I thought mm, no there's only one Rudolph so I drew Rudolph in here um, gave him a nice bright red nose and then I do put little um, white flecks around it too to make it look like it's glowing now to pop up the sentiments I'm just going to use these little foam strips these are thin foam strips that I get from Amazon and I'm just going to pop those on the back but other than that there is no dimension on this it is going to be nice and flat and easy to ship which is definitely what I want come Christmas cards because I'm sending out so many of them. Um, and I'm just going to create just this little bit of dimension, but it's not going to inhibit shipping at all. It's not going to cost me any extra money. And otherwise, the design is very simple and flat. So I'm just removing these backers here, struggling a little bit, <laughs> probably getting ink all over the place because those may not be completely dry yet, if I'm honest. I'm not most patient person in the world so I'm just going to plop that down and do the same thing with the other one <clears throat> to finish off that card but I'm just I'm so pleased with how this design turned out um, in typical fashion I'm just winging it uh, I don't really come up with a plan maybe I have an idea somewhat when I start playing but I really don't create designs in advance before my videos so what you see is like real-time winging it, learning as I go and figuring out if it works. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and I have to course correct and come up with something else. But in this case, I am so pleased with this stencil and I think it is just so cute. When I saw it in the release, I couldn't even stand it. I was so excited to get it. <laughs> but on this one otherwise very simple card without any little drawings on it, I decided to step it up a little bit and use my corner chomper tool. So I'm just going to round the opposing corners and that's going to finish these two cards. So this one, um, like I said, doesn't have any of the gel pen, but does have the rounded corners. And then the other one has the cute little Rudolph nose. You can see it's kind of glowing and then the little white details on it, but I did not round the corners. So um, different ideas to kind of step it up. You could also do splatter, white splatter. That would look like snow. That would be really cool. So um, different ways to step up an otherwise very simple design, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. I do have a whole playlist of different Christmas card ideas or holiday cards if you want to check that out and I'll catch you next time. Bye.